Yeah, man, this this my 609 credit dispute letter, man. Uh, before I go into it, I want to say, man, uh, you know, follow the channel, like the page, and, you know, this information is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not an attorney. If you need a lawyer, go get you a lawyer. I'm just giving away free public information. Free public information to the public. I'm giving you a strategy to use that I've used that works and it's all lawful. It's a lawful strategy. So what you want to do, Google, if you don't think this works, Google Section 609 Fair Credit Reporting Act. What I do, man, whenever I get any type of debt in my mail, you know, what you want to do, man, you want to, um, uh, it's the way you write your letters, man. You want to get your letters, your dispute letters, you want to write it in an affidavit form. And I can help you do that. I got a template, you know, uh, reach out to me. Uh, uh, first of all, you want to go to Facebook, uh, go to Facebook and send me a friend request. Rick Baylou on Facebook, R-I-C-K. B-A-I-L-O-U on Facebook. Go to Facebook. And then inbox me, letter template. Inbox me your phone number too, where I can give you a call, see what you got going on. I'm out here, I'm trying to give this information back to the public, this free information, man. So you don't, you know, so you don't remain a victim um, of either identity theft or victim of, you know, just being harassed. Call and call, you know, by these debt collectors, man. You know, the way this works, man, you write this letter, um, and you, all you're doing, all the section, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Section 609, all that letter is doing is asking for validation. You're not saying you don't want to pay the debt. You don't want to, you're, you're running from your debt. You're just making sure that the debt is valid. So it's a, it's a you know, it's all, it's all language. It's all words. You know, when a debt collector writes you a letter in the mail and you, and you see that letter and you don't respond to that mail, what happens now you just formed a contract between you and the debt collector because they're trying to collect the debt from you and you didn't rebut that debt or you didn't even ask for no validation you didn't ask no questions to if the debt is really yours so you know to show you proof man i'm just gonna read the last paragraph of my of this debt validation letter because listen it's illegal they're protected you know the the credit the debt collector industry that's a mafia industry, man. That's an industry where, you know, they rape you and oppress you financially. And they hurt your credit score. Without credit score, man, you're nothing. You know, you don't need money. But if you have a good credit score, if you have a good fucking, you know, a seven, 800 credit score, you know, I teach people how to leverage credit. Leverage that credit to get property, to get real, real estate property. That's what you want to do. You want to use your credit to buy a piece of property, to buy a house. And then now you could leverage the equity from the house. You could buy a duplex or a fourplex and you could rent one out. And then you could live as the landlord of your land. Stop, you know, being a landlord is different from being a tenant, you know, because now you're respected. You got authority out here in the business world, man. There's every millionaire, the way they became rich, was through real estate. But listen, let me read, I'm gonna I'm I'm make this short. Let me read the last paragraph to this debt validation letter. Because listen, you could go after these debt collectors for money if they don't, if they can't validate the debt. You ask, they, you know, because they're coming after you for money, trying to extort money from you, and you don't owe them no money. Because your agreement, if you, there was an agreement between you and an original creditor, was between you and the creditor. So, it's a, it's a process where debts get erased. But let me read this last paragraph to show you how powerful this letter is. Lastly, I hereby withdraw any prior statement, any prior consent, either expressed or applied, for you to communicate with me in any form other than in writing. In the event that you cannot properly validate this debt, then you are demanded to cease and desist communication of all form regarding this matter. Any communications from you, any agents of subsidiaries, will be regarded as willful neglect, along with any other applicable violations, and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, if deemed necessary. Govern yourself accordingly. 
See, when you write the debt collectors, these type, you know, when you write them these letters and you asking for validation and you letting them know, like, listen, what you're doing is against the law trying to seek a debt from me that, you know, it, they can't validate the debt because even if there is a debt, it was between you and the original creditor. So the way it works, all of these original creditors, all, most accounts, man, they, they, are, they are protected and insured. So, you know, when you write letters like this, only one or two things happen. They, they remove the item from your credit, and it works because I did it. And all, um, you know, or either they remove it or they just start, they re two things happen. They remove it and they start contacting you because you now you just back them into a corner. This all, it's this, you know, you got to understand how it works, man. This how it works. But listen, I'm out here, man. This is this my Saturday. This that one and only King Boss, man. Follow me. Add me on Facebook, R-I-C-K-B-A-I-L-O-U. And um, I, I explain how I send that template letter out so that you can start, uh, you know, so that you can start erasing debts from your, so that you can start erasing these debts or, and paying off these debts, man, where you could, you know, leverage your lifestyle, man, where you could live a boss lifestyle, you know, where you could live good, you could live rich. We always meant to, to live rich forever, man. We wasn't meant to be no fucking slave and oppressed financially. You can't live, you can't live prosperity in prosperity and be happy if you're fucking oppressed financially. And, you know, this is a fucking slave oppressive system, man, that, that enslaved motherfuckers. Um, they, you know, you, you a lot of motherfuckers enslaved not only mentally, but fucking financially, man. And, you know, you can't get ahead that way, man. You gotta, you gotta start fighting and protecting your assets. You gotta protect your assets and raise your assets up. Raise your, you know, raise your currency level. Raise your network. You know, once you raise yourself up, man, now you could be able to leave a legacy for your family. Boss up. Peace.